Hello guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Omar Hamid and in this video I will show you how you can add headers, footers and page numbers into your Microsoft Word document. Headers and footers can be used to display some information on the top or bottom margin of your Word document. They can include document title, author's name, date, page numbers and more. So let's go into Word to see how we can add them. I have this Word document and I want to insert headers, footers and page numbers into it. So in order to do it, I can go into insert and here I have the header, footer and page number or I can do it by another way by pressing double click on the top side margin of the word or the bottom side and I will access the headers and footers. So when I am here inside the header, I can see that this new tab called header and footer opens and here you have multiple options which we will go through. First for the header, so here you can use already made templates or shapes for the headers. So for example, you can see this one, document title here, and you can put the title as solar system. And if we close header and footer, you will see that it will be present on all the pages as a header. You can also choose a footer, so on the footer you can put page number, you can put author, you can put anything you want. So for example, you can put this shape here. And again, if you close the header and footer, this footer will be appear on all the pages. For page numbers, you can also choose it from here and you can choose where do you want to position your page numbers? It can be on the top of page. You have different samples for it. It can be on bottom of the page also. It can be on the page margins, so on the sides. And you can choose current position and place it on where your cursor is. And you can format the page numbers to change how the page numbering looks like in the headers and footers. If I want my page number to be in the bottom right side of the pages and you can see here now I have page number here if I scroll this is page 2 also for the date and time you can insert date and time in your document so first you can choose the format from these ones or you can even have more formats depending on the language and the calendar type. So I want to choose this one and I can choose to update automatically so anytime you open the Word document it will appear as the current date or you can keep it off and it will stay as September 4 anytime you open the document. So I press OK and here you can see the date and we can notice that the date is overlapping with page numbers because both of them are on the bottom right of the footer. But now let me show you how to insert other things so I will remove the headers and footers that I already put. Okay and now I will show you the document info so from here you can insert multiple document info like the author, file name, file path, document title and other fields in the document property like the category, comments, company, company address or anything. So let me show you how it will work. So for example if I press on author here I will have my name automatically set here because I'm the editor of the document. If I want to put for example file name will appear here because my file name is solar system if I want my file path it will be here next to the file name which is C users Omar Hamid desktop and it's called solar system and in the same way I can insert all the types of document property here by choosing one and editing it we also have the quick parts in which we can insert 
some quick parts that we already saved, like for example, a signature or anything that we want to insert. So it works the same as the full document. Also, the quick parts works in the header and footer. You can also insert pictures, online pictures. So let's see how we can insert an online picture, for example. And let's type solar system. So let's say, for example, we want to insert this one. And you can see it appears here. I want it to be a little bit smaller. I can edit it and I can position it wherever I want. So I can make it above text, make it smaller, to appear only in the header, for example. And if I press close header and footer, it will appear on all pages as a header picture. Although now it doesn't look very perfect, but just the idea of it is how to insert the pictures in the header and footer. So you can use it also to insert your company logo or anything you want. And we have some more features. So from here you can go quickly to footer if you press on this. And you can go back to header. Here you can go to previous and next if you have different headers. Here you can choose different first page for your page numbers. Different odd and even pages also for your page numbers, you can show document text or remove it in order to see how it will appear like. And from here you can also edit the size of your header and footer. So for example, you can make it a bit bigger. So as you can see, the margin here for the header is becoming wider. And the same for the footer. So if we increase its size you will see how the margin is moving now with using the headers and footers you can display some data that can improve the usability and visualization of your document like and share this video with your friends and hit the subscribe button to always stay updated